what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince and we're here to make drinks that are suitable for the average show. Today we've got a couple of things that are inspired by the Kentucky Derby, right? That is correct. And it is not May, but in my opinion, if it's a good drink, why should we have to wait to a certain day to drink it? I don't want to wait for anything. That's a good point. I'm not patient at all. I have kids. So do you. But that usually teaches you patience though. It didn't work. <laughs> So I, I'm going to be making a mint julep. And I'm going to make a, a lily. It goes by several different names. Apparently it's an alternative to the mint julep. A cranberry drink? Yes, it is a, it's definitely a, one that's served alongside the mint julep at times during the uh, Oaks Day or the Derby Day, which are races in Kentucky. Horse races. Horse races. And these drinks have nothing to do with horses. They don't. Apparently. <laughs> You're correct. There's nothing to do with horses. So <laughs> the history behind yours, I think, is more of a goes along with mine, so I'll give the history for it. <laughs> the uh, mint julep is um, a drink that became popular in 1938 at Churchill Downs. They officially made it their drink of the race for Derby Day. And one thing that was kind of interesting that people, they found out that the drink went over well, but people liked the glasses too. So they were stealing the glasses. Really? People dressed nicely in their Derby, derby best, outfits. yeah, derby outfits, and they would steal the glasses. So the very next year, and every year since, they sell the drink and the glass. So you have to bring the glass with you. That's kind of interesting. Kleptomaniacs, now they have more money, so. I like it. Yeah, so that's interesting. And another, another note about the mint julep is the straw was invented because of the mint julep. That's kind of cool. In 1888, cool. Marvin Stone in Washington, D.C., not Kentucky, was drinking a mint julep. And they had rye straws, and he noticed it tastes kind of funky, so he patented a paper straw. And that's where the straw came from in 1888. Hmm. So now in our day and age, we use plastic. We do. Not rye. Rye like the, the grain? Yeah, that yes. Make bread out of? Because he said it made the drink taste grassy. So he didn't like that, put them off a little bit, so he made the paper straw. Now, one thing we do with a mint julep is we, we muddle. We become muddlesome people. You're a meddling muddler? I'm a meddling muddler, and I, that's like Scooby-Doo. They were meddling kids. Anyways, <laughs> when you're gonna muddle your mint, <laughs> <don't>, <laughs> sorry. <don't. laughs> you got some mint to muddle here, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, when you're gonna <laughs> muddle your mint, don't muddle it and beat it like it stole something. You, you want to treat it nicely. And what, what happens is that the leaves inside of there, if you end up beating it up too much, it releases its chlorophyll and makes the drink actually taste bitter. Have you ever had a, like a mojito or this and you, it tasted grassy? Yeah, Lisa and I spent a long time trying to figure out how to make a good mojito and I never could. So, <laughs> <laughs> Just what you want to do is, and here's the thing is, is I, when I cook, I cook with my nose. So when I'm making drinks, use your nose. As you muddle the mint, and when you can smell the mint, done. So we're, I'm gonna put a little simple syrup in here. And some of them, they don't want you to put the simple syrup in, but this particular recipe. Uh, it is one part simple syrup, two parts bourbon. So I'm gonna put my simple syrup in here, and I'll muddle with it in there. So there's no problem muddling, I mean, you're not going to mess anything up by mixing stuff together like that? I don't think so. And, and if you can smell, so you can just barely smell that, so I'll muddle just a little bit more. I think there might have been a little simple syrup that flew out there, but that's okay. You know, smell that there. See, that smells good. I like fresh mint. Don't use dried mint on any of this stuff. Yeah, you you use never the best recipes you can. So muddling, all I'm doing is I'm just I'm bruising the mint leaves. You don't want to rip them apart, you don't want to tear them apart again because that releases the chlorophyll in there which makes it bitter and you get the grassy tasting drink and that's, that's not good at all. So you're just trying to bruise it and release some of the, the, the actual mint flavor out of it. I'm going to put just a little bit of ice in here. And then we're going to put our two parts of bourbon per drink. Now when you're going to choose a bourbon, I actually talked to a couple of buddies of mine that were 
big bourbon guys, and, and they gave me some pretty good advice, but for me, I want a, a middle shelf bourbon. What does that mean? Top of the shelf being the really expensive stuff, bottom being the stuff you get headache in college stuff. when it's gonna give you a headache the next day. Get somewhere right in the middle, and that's what I chose here. So again, we're gonna put two parts per drink. I have a question. Yes. When you're mixing drinks, do you usually make two? Always make two. Reason being, you have a friend, you want to give them a drink. If you don't have a friend, you gain a friend. Gain the drink itself. This is going to be garnished. You want to put your sprigs of mint in there. You really want to make sure when you put your nose up to it and you're taking a drink, you want to be able to smell that mint. And we talked about that before. One of your strongest senses is your sense of smell, and right. it actually affects your sense of taste. So what something smells like can make or break what you're drinking or eating. Yeah, and as long as it's on top of the drink there, when you stick your nose in there, when you get a drink, that's your mint julep. Poke it Cheers. Out. Don't poke yourself in the eye. That's bad. Wow, I like that. It, it's very minty. It goes right. really well with the whiskey. And it, there, there is bourbon, I mean, wow. it's bourbon, That's simple good. syrup, and mint, but all together, it, man, it's just a beautiful, beautiful taste. You get the, the little bit of strong bourbon, but the simple syrup, I think, helps it along with the mint, so that's a really good drink. That is a really good drink. Hmm. Cheers. What do you got, Vince? Well, but apparently, whenever the mint julep is served, you have the opportunity to order a lily, sometimes called a blush lily, sometimes called a... Oaks Lily, I mean, they're all essentially cranberry juice recipe, vodka based drinks. Right. Um, we're going to mix one. We're going to start with some ice. Put some ice both into our glasses and into our sugar. I probably need to learn to stop talking when I'm making a racket with my ice. You want me to start talking when you make a racket? Can anybody hear you over me? Apparently last time we did a video, nobody could hear anything we said at all. What's which that? made Crystal really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. By the way, Crystal, you won something. You won a free seating at the Average Old Drinks taping in the future. If you want to be at one of our Average Joe Drinks, subscribe and Yeah, let us know. Yeah, let us know. We're going to see what else we can do with this. We're trying to make this fun for everybody. So here's what I've got. Cranberry juice cocktail. We have tried this with actual cranberry juice. Very bitter, right. very strong, probably wonderful for people with UTIs, but not so much fun when you're trying to have a lily. And we decided that cranberry juice cocktail is really the way to go. Otherwise, it's just too harsh of a drink. It's way too bitter when you try it by the way, so. So we are going to go with six tablespoons of cranberry juice, six parts. That's the cocktail, right? Vince, that's what you said. This is the cocktail. Okay. We're also going to be putting in one tablespoon of simple syrup, which happened to be in here beforehand. Perfect. You're so efficient. It's there. <laughs> I promise. We're going to take Don and Kay's bottle of vodka, and we're going to put three tablespoons of that in there. His arms are getting huge because of this bottle of vodka. Yes, I gave up my gym membership ever since my neighbors gave me this bottle, and I'm going to be very sad the day I because then I have to go back to paying for my gym membership. That's going to suck. Um, fresh lime juice. Again, we've talked about this before. Really worth squeezing your own. Makes all the difference in the world when you have good. Yeah, fresh good citrus is so important. It really is. And we're just going to put a splash of triple sec in there. Give it a little bit of orange. Nothing dramatic. Shake and not stir. That's right. Bond will be proud. And we're going to get the seal back in there. And I still think we need to do our little one minute video about shakers. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's coming. I'm going to into a computer screen near you. And this is really it. This is the lily. It's a great color there. It's an alternative to the mint julep, although after tasting that, I have no idea why anybody would feel a desire to have an alternative. If you, if you like bitter things or sour things, you'll, you'll probably like this a little bit better. There you go. Cheers.
What do you think? You know, that's good. It's not bad. I like that better, but this is good. I would drink this again. This is a good drink. Now, as yeah. we always say, have fun. Enjoy your drinks. Please drink Start responsibly. responsibly. Yeah. Halloween is coming up. We'd like for you to give us your ideas for Halloween drinks. We've been experimenting with those. Haven't really come up with anything terrific. Meanwhile, plan ahead for your derby because derby days are great. You know, everybody at the Kentucky Derby has a hat. They do. But before the hats, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, please subscribe. It's a nice hat. Um, like us on Facebook. Really, dude? That's your derby hat? It's my derby hat. Is it really? It is. It's better than yours. Subscribe to us, please.